get older and as we start experiencing more things in life, musically and you know, personally, whatever else, and it just becomes really important. Is just playing music, you know, just what what the, what the song is about. There's a story behind the song, and I think that was our, that was all, most people's initial draw and love to country music, especially old country music, is is the stories and the songs. Songs are enduring and and, and speak and and communicate very well, and, and I think that's. That's the focus of the bus as players really is to work towards that goal and have the playing, the picking support that rather than the other way around. Our show right now naturally is pretty heavily based around our new record. And it's doing quite well I understand on the charts and like that. We had some success with it certainly. Um, I think in the first couple of weeks it went to number one, number one on the blue, bluegrass billboard charts uh, which was more than we hoped for. Do you, do you think of yourselves as bluegrass players? Uh, um, well, I guess initial, you know, yeah, uh, probably our initial grounding was probably in the bluegrass, in the bluegrass genre. But um, I don't know. This band's um, you couldn't say that it's a bluegrass band. We do we do play bluegrass music in our set, but you know, there's, there's a whole lot more going on than that. My dad had a country band, so I, I grew up uh, playing country music on the weekend, and then you know, it wasn't really, to be honest, it wasn't really until I came to. The states that actually start kind of playing bluegrass. The Americana category is where our music probably fits as far as an airplay sort of situation. So we've always had we've had a pretty good amount of love from Americana radio. Well, the band. I mean, Eamon, myself, and Carol Young. We, we formed the band, and we still are the, the core of the band. We always we have a fourth guy who's you know he's pretty much a part of the band. But, um, it's a guitar player and yeah we've, we've had plenty of guys that have played with us. We've got Matt as you said out with us now and Matt's pretty much doing pretty much full time with us right now. We've had some fantastic players when you know Brian Sutton, one of, one of our heroes, a great guitar player, has played in our last two records and he, he's come out and done some things with us and, and Pat Flynn formerly of Newgrass Revival. First couple of times you know, I saw yeah, you with Pat Flynn. Yeah we got Pat out, I mean he hadn't toured since Newgrass and we got him out on the road, come out with us and now he's sort of playing a little more. And, um, and our good friend Jed Hughes, who plays on the records as well. Um, we've had a, a whole bunch of players, and um, yeah, Rob Gerso down in Austin, who sort of was, was kind of the, the fourth member of the band for the first three or four years. You can see some bands that are bigger, you know, you see Ricky Skaggs' band, and he's got, I, I don't know how many, seven or eight bands right. on there, you know, and it's huge, it sounds enormous, and um, and they play and they do it beautifully. Um, where ours is just this little ensemble full piece, there's a lot of space there, and, and um, you know, you can, I just think you can generate a lot of, um, light and shade dynamics with that situation. The, the ducks and the mammals and some of the dusters were on stage together and the crowd were just on the floor dancing going bananas, you know, and it was just, it was a great, it really was a great experience. And just to be on, a fest, on the festival with people like that, our age, yeah. doing it for the first time, it's a great thrill. I mean, I think we feel comfortable that we're a part of that scene, you know. Um, there's just, you know, mentioned those bands, you know, Crooked Steel is another band. There's a lot of great bands that are sort of doing pretty well out there at the moment. And um, we're, we're friends with them all and it's good to run into them at festivals and be on festivals with them and things like that. I guess it comes in, in waves, you know. Um, you know, there'll be a time, I'm sure, when we're old and growing up trousers up to here and, and talking about these new kids and how we don't like what they're doing you know yeah. but it, 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 will, it, will, it will always evolve and there'll always be new people um, you know honoring the tradition and then changing it some you know and that's the great thing about about music traditional festivals so whenever we're asked to do something like that we, um, we get a little nervous I guess <laughs> we're, not, we're not as I say we're not a traditional bluegrass band even though we have some of those elements but you no know, people I think people here have been really accepting of us and I mean the setting is just absolutely beautiful well, the lineup's really great um, we, we, you know, Claire Lynch is on this festival and we love Claire Lynch and Sherry Holmes who we're listening to right now are a fantastic band so it's um it's great great to be a part of it be a part of you know a lineup like this California was sort of one of the first places we ever toured the first time we came out here people were coming out to our shows we're pretty heavily influenced by West Coast music I mean even the bluegrass or country music that we all listen to a lot of it was the West Coast you know the country music specifically um, you know Haggard and Buck Owens and then um, some of the bluegrass artists, people like Byron 
car and Bert Lane and the man here today and uh, Tony Rice was out here in Vince Gill. So we were, I mean I think the West Coast has had a huge influence on us. Going back to the sort of the festival experience here, I saw you last night at uh, probably 2 a.m. All the music stops here at the stage. You go over to the picking ground, you know, go over to the camp campgrounds. And people are just out in their little areas and just picking and we were there till, as you say till about two in the morning. Um, just playing with folks we've never met before, you know, and just singing and playing and everyone having a great time. Yeah. That's, to me, that's it's an unrivaled experience. Well, we set up the Stephen shelf, sailing out to sea. My brand new wife, my lover, blowing kisses out to me. Making a living on the mainland laying tile So I thought I'd try my hand at fishing for a while 